What is happening? He jumped. He jumped. Oh my goodness, Sanis. This is not what we wanted to have happen. He ended up jumping and now he is severely injured. What's going on, Zanies? Another episode of Live PD ERLC Edition. Here we are on this beautiful Friday, flipping through the dash cams. Not much action. Looks like there's something going on in the bank. This police officer might be responding or completely bypassing. But as you guys can see, there are several police officers here. Let me see if I can flip through. I definitely see something here. That police officer is engaging, but unfortunately, I cannot flip through his body cam fast enough. Let me exit and get back in it. This other police officer appears to be giving chase down the highway. Wow, a lot of action in the server so far. All three officers that I've checked in on are actively doing something. We're going to follow and stick with this police officer. Looks like he's getting off right as the highway ends, possibly coming back towards the city center. Maybe that little end industrial area right by the fuel plant let's see what he does what could he possibly be responding to oh and here we go that's a suspect right there there's two officers giving chase this officer has spun out oh no let me flip through the cams checking in with the leading officer and here we go looks like they're chasing a pursuit quite literally and oh no this officer as well has completely flipped over but now his vehicle is right side up and this suspect is really giving them a hard time now there appears to be two and it looks like he's off trying to make the arrest almost he almost had him but now he's back in his vehicle come on officer get back in the fight man let's get it another officer to our left and here comes the suspect one more time. Boy, he is just taunting them at this point. Officer First Gaming 85 is departing the sheriff's station. Where is he in Route 2? Hopefully to render aid to all of this action happening in the server. Where is he going? Okay, crossing the red bridge, the location of one of the Easter eggs, by the way. And is he going to go left or is he going to go right? He is going to go left. So, okay, so he's going to circle back around towards the city center. We'll check in with him later. And this would be way better if flipping through the cameras was a little bit more fluid. And unfortunately, it definitely isn't. This police officer, I don't know what he's doing. Is he looking at the radio? Because there is a lot of things happening right now. And this dude is just chilling. Just driving all carefully, respecting the lights through the city center. What's wrong with you, bro? Did you see that vehicle? I don't even know what that vehicle was doing. Go chase him. But nope, he's stopping at the red light. All right, well, officer, you do your thing. Oh, no, and unfortunately, Zanies, this is what I don't like to see. The officer is down. Here is the footage from his vehicle. As you guys can see, he is down right there. He was just gunned down by a suspect, I believe. Another officer is pulling up on scene to hopefully render some assistance, call EMS or something. But look at this. How tragic is this? And it would be kind of cool if at some point or another we are able to render assistance to our fellow police officers. I'm not talking, you know, full on reviving them or anything like that, but just render some basic life saving steps. Oh, and oh no, the other suspect is out, but oh, did he just run over the police officer? I think he did. And the media is here capturing all of this. That suspect in the black Porsche seems to be trying to run over everyone. That officer is doing the right thing, but trying to set up barricades. We're going to log into the body cam one more time and the media is here to capture everything. This is insane. And more officers are now on scene. Now I'm checking in with a different police officer. I don't know where this particular individual is at. He appears to be somewhere in the back of his cruiser. Let me see if I can get a different angle. More officers are still on scene. Now I have a couple different angles here. It looks like they have definitely set up a perimeter around that down police officer. Let me see if I can get an angle closer to the actual officer. Yep, and I think this is the officer looking to the outside. Here is EMS finally. Yes, thank goodness. And as we all can see, the officer is still down there. They are giving an interview opposite of where the officer is at. I don't know what EMS is waiting for, but please get to it. Time is of the essence. Get in there, bro. I mean, he kind of looks like me, doesn't he? Here we go. I think we are ready. And the officer is going to be okay. This is what I like to see. All right, boys and girls. Well, let's move on and let's see what else is happening in the world of Liberty County. This officer is in a rush to get to somewhere. I don't know where you're going, Billy Bobo Ha. Where are you going, bro? All right, well, we're going to stay with him for a few seconds. See if we can figure this out. I see another police officer ahead. I see two police officers, three police officers, making it a total of four police officers. Wow. What is going on? All right, so we're really going to stay here and try to figure this out. 
Can I get a different angle? Oh, wait a minute. This officer has now exited his vehicle. And there's some action going on. His vehicle might be stuck. Set up a spike strip, my dude. Set up a spike strip. Look at that. Look at what is happening over there. All right, we're going to bypass this officer. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's unstuck now. Here we go. Okay, we're going to stay with him. Looks like there's several police officers giving chase. To the right, bro. To the right. There you go. Down the dirt path that leads out towards that little wooden bridge. And here we go. He's ahead of the suspect, I believe. Now it's only a matter of boxing him in. I don't know that he's going to be able to, though. Nope, he didn't. Okay, we're going to move on. Looking at Officer First Gaming in the thick of it as well. There's one, two, three, four, five police officers that I can count and that I can see right now. Valley Transit is trying to fulfill his route, but bro, this is not the time for it, man. This is not the time. There is several police officers sort of barricading the roads that are coming in and out of the city center. So we're going to hang out and we're going to see what this is all about. Tuning in with an officer smack middle of the city center. He is driving all peacefully, though. I don't understand. What is he doing? Circling around, going into the gas station. All right, and he's just getting gas. Let's move on. Officer BDS Gamer 15 checking his MDT. Looks like he might be at the end of a call. Let me check his cruiser. Yeah, there's one, two, three officers that I can count. A couple of them looks like either detectives or undercover. That might be a police officer there as well. I really can't tell. But the scene might be clearing. He is definitely placing some calls though. Let's see if we can tune in with another officer now. And this officer's vehicle appears to be disabled as it's a little bit tilted and he's driving sort of an angle. Police officer in front of him just turned on his lights, so let's see if we can catch up with him. Oh, wait a minute. This guy just turned on his lights as well, but I'm still convinced he's only driving on either three or two tires. And he spun out, but why did he spin out? Oh, there's a situation happening at the hospital. What is going on? All officers are rushing in. He's got his taser out. Let's see if we can get a better angle on this. Yeah, I got another angle on this police officer. He's right outside as well. I don't know what they're doing. This is a big, big scene, though. I think everyone in the law enforcement team is here right now. Don't go anywhere, bro. Oh, and there's that other vehicle that I was following. All right, we're going to stay on scene, though. We're going to skip this police officer and go back to the hospital. Here we go. We got a fresh officer that is just now pulling up to the scene. We got SWAT that just showed up. We got a gentleman. We got another officer working his way towards the front door with a shield. There's a police officer potentially engaged with the suspect. I don't know who that is, but let me see if I can find him. No, nope, this is an officer outside. And here we go. This is an officer inside working his way in with a shield. There's a couple of them in here. They're trying to clear. We're going to stay here and follow this action. Be careful, officers. Worked our way to the second floor, and there he is, I think. Nope. That's an officer, I believe. Oh, maybe it isn't. Is he an imposter? He might be an imposter. Oh, he just pulled out his weapon, and he's shooting. Is he shooting at fellow police officers? This cannot be happening right now. What is happening? I don't know if this officer is doing mentally okay, but something is happening here. We're going to continue to stay here and watch this play out, boys and girls. I'm still here, Zanies. I'm going to take a look outside. And yes, as you guys can see, the officer slowly creeping his way up is the one trying to defuse the situation. This gentleman is saying he's going to jump. And then we're trying to talk him out of it. Don't do it, bro. It's not worth it. We got the media here. We got SWAT team all over. It might be a fellow police officer looking at the inside. He just pulled out his weapon again, shooting randomly, busting windows. Oh my goodness, Zanies. This is insane. And in case you guys are wondering, this is the view from the cruiser that is perfectly parked right in front of the hospital, allowing me to not only catch the footage from the outside, but also the inside. And here's this fellow police officer trying to creep his way in. And this is me just flipping through, boys and girls. Officer, it's going to be okay. I can't tell what he's saying, though. It's going to be okay, though, bro. We're now setting up a perimeter outside. I don't know what's being said. Unfortunately, it's too far away for me to be able to make out. But this police officer definitely has a good angle on him. He is back to shooting the windows out. And I can't believe we just caught that on tape. And here we go. The weapons are now drawn. He's saying he's crazy. And oh my goodness. Every single officer is now upstairs. They're all trying to close on him. 
please defuse the situation officers, this doesn't have to end this way. And he's telling everyone to stand back or he's gonna jump. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. And did he just get tased? I think he just got tased. And no, he's back on the ledge. What is happening? He jumped. He jumped. Oh my goodness, Sandy's. This is not what we wanted to have happen. He ended up jumping and now he is severely injured. My goodness, boys and girls, this is not what I wanted to show. All right, Zanius, well, due to this tragic event, I am going to log off, and I will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, long live the Zanies. And in case you guys are curious, there is some follow-up right here. The suspect is saying he sees the light. Officers are trying to perform first aid to the best of their abilities, but it doesn't seem to be working. It is a sad day in ERLC, boys and girls. A very sad day. Oh.